Hey everyone, what's up? Today we're going to be learning how to add a border to our screen. Currently when the player moves, uh, it just moves off of the screen itself. Now you guys may have noticed that from, you guys may not be noticing that right now because we have the camera following where the player is located. But the issue is that by constantly rendering more and more space, we actually cause the graphics card to have to constantly generate more and more graphics. This is going to affect game performance as well as the hardware itself. That's why most video games don't have this implemented. So what we're going to do now is create some proper, we're going to create some proper boundaries so that the player doesn't just wander off into outer space and instead stays in a place where we can monitor him. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so first of all, I'm just going to explain how the code is going to work on a whiteboard. So let's suppose if I have a game and it's 50 by 200 pixels. So currently we have our player over here and we want to put boundaries. So like earlier when we did our character controller script, what we did was we simply modified the pixel that the player was at. And due to the constant rendering, it was very nice and smooth. So and so what we need to do now is we need to figure out the dimensions of our screen, which we already have by the way, and all we need to do is add some restrictions to our character controller script. So all we need to do is make sure that the player does not go below zero, so in the negatives, and it can't go above 200 plus 200. And this is for the x-axis. For the y-axis, it can't go below zero, and it can't go above 50. So by adding these uh, simple restrictions, we can create a proper character controlling movement. So without further ado, let's get coded. All right, so the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is just pick out a size for your screen. So I'm gonna go with a simple 500 by 800 pixels. You guys can do whatever you want, I could care less. All right, and make sure you guys are familiar with AND operators and Boolean logic. So AND operators simply run if both statements are true. I have a video on Boolean logic uh, and you can just find that on my YouTube channel, but this is how you're gonna do it. So you're gonna just write two AND symbols and then all you're gonna do is just write your condition. So for W, we don't want the player's Y value to be greater than 800 or 500. And for the S value, we don't want our player's Y value to be, or we don't want, we, wait. And we want our player's Y value to be greater than zero. And we want 500 to be greater than the player's Y. All right, and for the A, like if it's A, what we want is for the player's x value to be greater than zero. So it's not gonna execute if it goes too far. Uh, the next thing that we're gonna want is for the player's d value. So, so what we're gonna want is the player's x value to be, and have 800 be greater, 800 pixels be greater. All right, so that's all the code we need. And now if I was to run this, and just put this over here. As you can see, the player moves and moves, and all of a sudden it just comes to a stop. And we know this because the, the camera itself stops moving. We just can't move at all. That's the, so. As you can see, we've created proper boundaries within our libgdx video game. Uh, I'm just going to test it out from here. Yeah. So as you can see, the player is just stuck. They just can't move. So that's it for this tutorial. Uh, if you guys have any comments, leave them down in the, in the comment section below. Like, share, and subscribe. Have a nice day.